Let's jump back to the 1900s, when Gandhi, often called Mahatma or Great Soul, was causing ripples on the global stage. If you were to glance through his resume, you'd see champion of non-violence and expert in civil disobedience at the very top. He was the man who showed the world that change could be brought about, not with a clenched fist, but with an open palm. After spending 20 years in South Africa, where he had his fair share of run-ins with racial discrimination, Gandhi decided it was high time his home country, India, got a taste of his peacemaking prowess. And what a task he chose, liberating India from British rule. But instead of a sword, he picked up the tools of non-violence and truth. Among the many episodes of his remarkable life, the Salt March or Dandy March in 1930 stands out. Gandhi, in an act of defiance against the British salt talks, led a 240-mile march to the Arabian Sea coast. There, he made his own salt, thereby breaking the law and sparking nationwide civil disobedience. It wasn't just about the salt. It was a statement against oppressive taxation and colonial rule. This, friends, is the power of a well-planned peaceful protest. At the core of Gandhi's teachings was the principle of ahimsa, or non-violence. It wasn't just about refraining from physical violence, it was about embracing respect, love and understanding towards all beings. It was about peacefully resisting injustice. Gandhi showed us that real change isn't achieved through brute force or dominance. It's about standing up for what's right even if you are the only one doing so. His teachings echo through the ages, relevant even in today's polarized world. In an era where people are quick to escalate conflicts, perhaps adopting Gandhi's peaceful strategies isn't such a bad idea. In this video, we will explore some of his philosophies, so grab some popcorn, sit back, and enjoy the ride. Welcome to BlackRock Inspired. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. The weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. An eye for an eye only ends up making the whole world blind. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. In a gentle way, you can shake the world. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. First, they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Nonviolence is the greatest force at the disposal of mankind. It is mightier than the mightiest weapon of destruction devised by the ingenuity of man. Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs but not every man's greed. A man is but the product of his thoughts. What he thinks, he becomes. Freedom is not worth having if it does not include the freedom to make mistakes. The future depends on what you do today. My life is my message. Faith is not something to grasp. It is a state to grow into. A no uttered from the deepest conviction is better than a yes merely uttered to please or worse, to avoid trouble. The greatness of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Truth stands. Even if there be no public support, 
it is self-sustained. Non-cooperation with evil is as much a duty as is cooperation with good. I will not let anyone walk through my mind with their dirty feet.